everyone! Hello and welcome to the very first video for Rutana's Box and Stop that has actually a bit more quality behind it and isn't just a random video I just uploaded there because reasons. Um, from now on this channel will, conclude, uh, will include um, collector edition unboxings from video games mostly. And um, I'm so hyped to open this up. It's, it had cost me so much resistance not to open it up pre-handedly. I peeked a bit inside, but I didn't completely open it up for the purpose of this video. And yeah, if you know me a bit better, you know I'm a huge Secret of Mana fan. And this is actually the Japanese collector's edition for the PS4 remake. Um, I have my thoughts on the PS4 remake, but I will save it for last. So, um, yeah, if you just want to see the, the unboxing, if you just want to see what's inside here, you don't have to hear my, me rambling about the game. <laughs> so, let's open it up. Um, I will, in close future, in the next days, weeks, months, um, open up and not open up, um, release all the unboxings here that now fit this channel that have been on my main channel Rotana unboxing so far. So this might actually turn out to become my main channel. There we go. The rabbits, or as I know them, Poco Push it. <laughs> um, I'm so hyped, I'm sorry. This game was my childhood. My pure childhood can be summed up with Secret of Mana. So, I'm so happy. Look at this. Look at this. How awesome is it? Wow, and it's big. This is the Secret of Mana pop-up storybook. And we'll have a closer look into it. Um, a bit later. But I want to get out all the items first. Let's put it aside. Here we have the Japanese game. I'll keep it closed because I have the game in German as well, so no need to open up the Japanese case. Um, but I guess if you have a Japanese account, go nuts with the download code for the costumes because I don't need them <laughs> right continue it's a soundtrack don't want to hurt the bits dripped a bit couldn't be helped now I'm guessing this is the yeah, Secret of Mana Collector's Edition Arranged Tracks. This is the new soundtrack they composed for the remake. Again, my close thoughts about the remake later. And this is the highlight. Or one of the highlights. Ugh, this box has so many highlights. It's the last item, so... So, we'll put this aside now. It's figures of the three main characters. Oh, let's open it up. It has an instruction manual. Why do we need an instruction manual for this? It's a huge question. Uh, safety warnings. Yeah, it's just safety warnings. In Chinese, in Japanese and in English actually. Yeah. 
here we go. Of course, we have the hero, Randy. So I will always call him Jason. Which goes back to my childhood. We actually played the game in multiplayer. I played it with two friends. And the one who won the fight over playing the hero character um, decided to name him Jason after his favorite Power Ranger. <laughs> so we have the girl, Prim, or as we called her, Naso. We called her Naso because as kids we didn't like her. And we wanted to find a possibly mean name <laughs> and named her Naso. So that's what we came up with. Um, by now I've completely changed my mind about her. I really, really like her. Um, Naso still sounds good enough to be a regular name and not an insult. <laughs> And finally, my favorite character of the bunch is a Sprite. Purim, I think it is in English. In we called her Kobi because in German she was called the Koboldin, which made much more sense than the description they have for her in in the new version, which is Elfe. Elf. Elf. She's not an elf. She's everything but not an elf. <laughs> um, Kobolde are a German, Nordic um, fantasy creature. They are usually known for playing pranks, for being bold, uh, small figures. Um, and we had a very, very famous kobold in German TV uh, called Pumuke. So we knew all what kobolds are, so naming her a koboldin fit perfectly to her character and um, to her spirit. And yes, koboldin is uh, the female version of kobold, so they didn't make any secrets about her gender. Um, in the US, I know, they kept it as a uh, male. And in Japanese, they left it up for the uh, player to decide her gender. Just as the remake does in the German version, actually. They also keep it up for for the mind of the player by keeping her gender neutral. And for me, it's a girl. It will always be a girl. Now, let's take a look into this pop-up storybook. Now, of course, I can't read Japanese, so if it's Japanese in here, I have to use Google Translate. But we'll see. But what a game. Puts the figures a bit light. Back. Okay. Fully closes up. This is neat. This is so neat. Oh, this is so cool. Different monsters there. I don't know if you can open it up differently as well. There's more to open up. I don't want to break anything. Oh my god! How oh cool! <gasps> no way! Oh my god, I found something. No way, how cool is this? Not too 
nothing to break anything. This is so cool! Look at this! They're riding on Flummy. Or oh, Lufti. Actually, he had both names in the German version. One in the guide and one in the game. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh. I hate to take you guys out now. This is so amazing. Oh, we have the mother tree. With all the birds flocking around it. This is so cool. Well, you could even rip it out to replicate the event of the game. Spoilers! <laughs> this is so amazing! Oh my god, this is cool! I'm so happy that I got this collector's edition. That's so much worth it. So much more than the game. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I guess it was a bit notable. I'm not such big of a fan of the remake. Uh, let's display them properly here while we talk. So cool. Alright. Um, okay, my thoughts of the remake. I I am disappointed. I'm disappointed not about the remake itself, but I'm disappointed of Square Enix. Uh, mind you, yesterday they released Chrono Trigger for PC and after all their ports of the Final Fantasy franchise to Steam, I'm just highly disappointed of how Square Enix handles remakes. Um, now keep in mind, I didn't expect too much from the remake of Secret of Mana. I knew it wouldn't, I I knew it wouldn't be as good as the original for me. Um, that was sadly a truth I was well aware of um, from the beginning. Uh, the thing is, they made so many s changes that are worse, and the s few things they could have actually changed to make the game better, they ignored. So I'm, I'm really, I'm playing it right now, and I'm still enjoying it because I think one of the few good things they made is that the um, gameplay itself, the battles, actually feel nice. Um, they feel fluid. They, they are okay. Also, the battle system is clearly uh, clearly more more slower than the original. The original was faster, and that says a lot. Because um, while being an action role-playing game, Secret of Mana wasn't the fastest game in the world in com when it comes to battles, since you always had to wait to the 100% charge. Um, I have the feeling that this 100% charge is now a little bit longer. It's just a feeling. I haven't uh, checked it up, I haven't calculated it, but it feels this way. And um, yeah, the bosses are way way easier than before. Really a lot easier. Which is Maybe a good thing regarding the camera because the camera is so zoomed in and has such a angle that you can't see everything um, correctly, which is really a shame. Uh, then you have the voice acting. The voice acting is absolutely cute in Japanese. Um, I haven't listened much to the English voice acting, only with Let's Play, so I uh, don't dare to judge that. Um, the Japanese one is really, really cute. Um, I also like the scenes in the inns. Also, I found this was very poorly thought out because um, 
you don't actually had to visit that in that often within the story. You basically end up visiting the inn over and over again when you are leveling up, when you're grinding, because um, it's cheaper than healing you with uh, items. But otherwise you don't need to visit the inn that often as it's um, as you're supposed to in order to keep up with the story because they always talk about recent events so I ended up visiting the inn over and over and over again to catch up and I actually missed um, a conversation that I then saw on the Let's Play which is a shame um, the models now in itself the models are actually cute and it's okay uh, I prefer sprite work, but it's still uh, okay, it's still nice. It looks so amazing good. Um, but, and that's a big but, that they didn't put in lip movement. It was a horrible decision. And that they used the cutscenes with a full body model of the 3D characters on top of the beach box is also not very very appealing. It'd be way better if they had just drawn upper body models and at least had lift movement within and more fun with it. Um, as you can see it for example in Fire Emblem and um, oh, which games had this, had this system as well I think Suikuden so has it. Um, there are lots of games which, with these models um, Basically all um, visual novels have this system. That would have been so much better and would have been looked so much more natural. Oh, it's so cute. I can't get enough of it. I'm sorry. Um, what I also noticed is um, they changed not much from the original German translation. So I bet that the original German translation was already very close to the Japanese one. But they removed basically everything that they, the Germans put in to um, make the game really fun. Um, my favorite uh, non-playing character, my favorite random NPC doesn't have the line anymore that made her my famous, uh, favorite. And... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, this is nitpicky. This is really nitpicky and I can overlook it. Um, I don't like the changes they did to the sprite, as I said, as I explained. Koboldin was a perfect description for her. Elf doesn't fit at all, so I really don't know. Maybe they thought people don't know, kids don't know Kobold anymore? I, I can tell. Um, they completely changed the names which I can understand for the names that were mentioned in the voice acting for example um, Gemma Rusalka uh, which is known as Luca in the US and such I can get behind that and I wouldn't actually mind that much if it's just them but it's all monster names we grew up with Pogo Poschel we didn't grow up with Mumla. And that's an issue you have don't have in the US because they actually kept the US names. But I I feel like the German translation was done by someone who never played the original. Who never grew up with the original. And just wanted to put out his own thoughts. And that's a real miss, a real shame. Um the new soundtrack is horrible. Um, it's probably nice to listen to outside of the game, so I'm actually glad about the soundtrack. But within the game it fits absolutely not. It's so taking you out of the adventure, so keep it to the original soundtrack. Gladfully they, took this, uh, they kept this in. Then they changed the uh, AI controls for the other characters. You don't have as much precise controls anymore than before. You can only basically direct them 
to where they should fight, which isn't even coming close to what you could do in uh, the original. So I really don't get why they were dumbing this down. And then there's a pet peeve of mine. If you decide that the um, walls of the houses you were absolutely not possible to see in the original, if you want to spike them up and make them a bit more natural and sh instead of just solid walls, do it correctly. I've seen countless of houses which have on the side walls doors and windows. And when you go inside the house, it's just a plain solid wall. This doesn't make any sense and it's these little details that actually completely take me out of the experience. So yeah, that's my nitpicky thoughts about the remake. I wish that Square Enix would take more effort in remaking their classics. And you know, currently the second Densetsu collection for the Switch is the um, clearly dominating and better re-release of Secret of Mana. It's a shame it's only available in Japanese right now. Square Enix ports this please take the original translation of Secret of Mana. Or at least take the original names at least. Uh, that's the very best. I'm I'm fine with uh, removing the funny made-up lines from the original translators, but at least keep the name as, names at check. We want our Pogo Pushel back. Really, we want our Pogo Pushel back. <laughs> I can't stress this enough. This was such a cute name and it is, it's a name that so burnt into our memories, um, Mimla doesn't get this justice. And yeah, it would be really cool because we would finally get an official translation of Secret of Mana 2 and a modern way to play it. So please, Square Enix, bring over the Saigon Densetsu collection to the West. And all Saigon Densetsu fans would be so happy and so grateful, much more than over the remake. Okay, enough rambling about Secret of Mana. <laughs> you notice it's a game that's very dear to my heart and yeah. I'll say goodbye and I hope I see you again. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Thank you so much for watching. You can check out my other videos covering Collector's Edition and other Collector pieces on the playlist on the top right. Expect a new video on this channel every Tuesday re-uploads every Thursday and LEGO Dimensions videos every Friday. Take a look on my other channel for mystery unboxings on the bottom right. Until next time, see ya!